you very much, Christine. Now, calling all ex-rockers out there, 25 years ago, the music scene in Northern Ireland experienced what can only be called a punk rock explosion, which launched a raft of bands, including Stiff Little Fingers, The Outcast, Rudy, Rufrex, and The Undertones, to name but a few. To celebrate this anniversary, a new book is being launched in the Empire Bar in Belfast tomorrow night. It's called It Makes You Wanna Spit, and many of the performers featured will also be playing a very special gig tomorrow night. I'm delighted to say that two of those performers are with me now. Greg Cowan, formerly of The Outcast, and Alan Clark of the newly reformed roof for X. Guys, it's good to see you here. You? Greg, it's good to see you're still going for the hair. You're keeping the faith. <laughs> we like to see it. that. Somebody's got, somebody's got to be the oldest out there. <laughs> Listen, let's talk punk in Belfast, because some people think of punk and they think London, they think of Sex Pistols and the whole London scene. How healthy was the Belfast punk scene? We were a completely independent scene from like anything else. Belfast was a wee unique world on itself there. So Belfast punk was very, 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 very localised, so, so it was. We're seeing some big. fantastic images and it's powerful imagery from that period as well. Yeah. Alan, what do you think when you look at things like that? Does it take you right back to the Harp Bar in Belfast 25 sure. years ago? But good too because, you know, as Greg says, our punk came a bit later in Belfast than it did the rest of the mainland. But when it came here, it really exploded. Mm. No pun intended, by the way. <laughs> but it really did. But it brought communities together. I mean, it didn't matter who you were, where you were from, what religion you were, anything else. Everyone came together, went out, had a good time and enjoyed themselves. And that's what the scene basically was about. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about the gig tomorrow night in a wee moment. But what, what do you think is the magic of punk? Some youth cults and some youth sort of styles, if you like, go out of fashion very quickly. But punk still has a very passionate following. I went to see Joe Strummer a couple of years ago and the place was packed. Everybody had, was balding, you know, but it was still packed full of guys. What's the magic of punk? Why has it lasted so well, do you think, Greg? It, it, it was it was such a change from like anything else that, that went before it. I mean, most sort of most sort of youth culture sort of build on what before. We were like year zero. We we scrubbed everything else that went before it and started again. You have to remember Belfast then was like a wasteland. Yeah. I mean, we were the people that went back into town. We discovered we discovered gigs. We, we discovered there were no. There were no venues to play. It was we, a whole we went change. Out and got wasn't them. It? Yeah, we sort of changed everything. It was a fabulous thing, Alan. I know you're back with Rufrex now yeah. as well, which is great to hear. But there's a very special gig tomorrow night featuring you guys and a, yeah. a cast of many, shall we say? Tell yeah. us about the gig tomorrow night in the Empire. Tell uh, us about the gig. Well, basically, it's going to be a good nostalgia night. You know, it's hard to believe it's 25 years ago. Under the I name mean, Shame Academy as well, which you have to give your yes, credit. Yes, sure, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, no, it's going to be a good night. You know, I, I, from our own point of view, we had reformed as a band. It was nice to get the invite to do this gig, you know, so, but after the morning, we'll go on to do other things. But just to point at what Greg was saying there, at the scene at the time, mm. with, you know, we had all the, you know, all the things that mainland Britain suffered, but we had the troubles as well, and that's what brought people together. People it's didn't care. Absolutely. It was totally refreshing. A refreshing change. It's a brilliant And you book. didn't have to be Jimi Hendrix or Ginger Baker. No. The plan of band. Jimmy and Baker, maybe, but not. Oh, well, Ginger Baker, him too. That's his brother. <laughs> yeah, I wish you all the best. There's going to be a brilliant gig tomorrow night in the Empire, and the book's fantastic as well. It makes you want to spit. Good to see you here, guys. Thanks very much for coming on First Top. Yeah, thanks a lot. All the best.